Is the abdomen of your chicken swollen? Is it experiencing difficulty in breathing? Does it look lethargic compared to the others? If it fits these symptoms, you might need to visit your vet for a checkup. Your chicken might have a water belly or an underlying disease that needs immediate attention. In this video, we shall discuss what causes ascites, including the risk factors, plus the treatment and prevention that you can do at home. Ascites or water belly in chickens. Ascites refer to an accumulation of excess fluids in the abdominal cavity, thus the name water belly. It is a condition that stems from a disease called pulmonary arterial hypertension or ascites syndrome. It usually occurs in fast-growing broilers and sometimes in egg-laying hens reared under a variety of conditions. Additionally, ascites are non-inflammatory and non-infectious. But don't get deceived as it poses a high mortality rate in chickens. Several factors contribute to the development of a water belly. In chickens, among these include Broilers or meat-type chickens have faster growth rates. For efficient food conversion, that means increased egg production, higher meat yield, and bigger breast percentage. Their body is, in some cases, not able to keep up with the rapid changes causing the cardiopulmonary system to work up to its limit. The heart starts to pump blood through the lungs to sustain the oxygen demand, but this increases the pressure in the pulmonary arteries. With time, it will result in right ventricular wall dilation and hypertrophy. Additionally, if the rest of the body grows faster than the lungs, it can cause hypoxia and ascites. Chickens also experience organ deterioration like the human body. It exposes the host to diseases or metabolic conditions. Once the system weakens, Some breeds are genetically born with heart diseases. If you've confirmed an egg-laying hen has it, avoid selling or hatching eggs from it, as it may pass the ascites. High-protein diet can disrupt the functions of the internal organs. It can lead to systemic conditions that cause a water belly. Stale and moldy feeds can attract bacterias. That can result in liver damage to chickens who ingests it. Extreme heat and cold can cause an imbalance. Too hot of a temperature can increase the risk of heart disease. Conversely, too cold can lower oxygen intake, resulting in ascites. Vascular damage occurs in the presence of viral and bacterial infection in some cases. You can also find this in toxic chemicals and compounds ingestion. Putting in place preventive measures is always better than administering treatment. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Of course, no poultry keeper wants to see their pets suffering from an incurable disease. So let's take a look at some preventive measures to follow. Ventilation is the most key environmental factor when it comes to prevention of water belly in chickens. Providing as much oxygen and ventilation in places with high altitudes is very crucial. Aside from this, Correct litter management also contributes to maintaining air quality. Poor air quality can cause respiratory disease, reducing blood oxygen levels. Common house air contaminant that can increase a site's susceptibility includes dust, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, ammonia, Unfortunately, there is no permanent cure for a site's. Once your chicken gets it, continuous treatment is needed, along with the help of a medical professional. 
The current known intervention is through paracentesis to remove the excess fluids.